Oh yeah. Checking, checking. A oh, one, two, three, hey, hey. All right. All right. Yeah. We made it right in time. We did. I told them, I was like, we're going to be there. We're going to be right on time. And uh, that's it. <laughs> so we'll just give it a second for people to hop on. Hi, Jen. Good morning. Hello. Hi, Stephanie. <laughs> Great. Very excited. Oh, let me turn on. Let me turn on our second light here. Great. Miriam! Hi, Stephanie. Hi, everybody. Good morning. I feel like this is just a little off. Nope, maybe that one. Okay. Hello, hello. Um, also, gonna test something real quick. We got a second angle. Hey, there it is. I'll probably turn off this chat box just because I want to utilize it um, during our stream. So I'll just hide that for right now. But I just wanted some more ways for us to see when we're doing certain shapes or different things so that, you know, we can have a better view of when we're doing things. So hopefully you guys <coughs> like it, appreciate it. Hi, Liliana. Welcome, welcome. <laughs> also, does this matte angle work for you guys or should we get a little bit flatter? I don't know. What do you think, Ben? You're the expert. I'm gonna pull, I'm gonna pull myself back this way Smart. and have you pull forwards maybe? Do you feel comfortable like that? I think so. Okay. You said a lot of forward pulls, so. Yeah, we're gonna small do some envelope today, right? small envelope. We're gonna become envelopes. Hi, Nicolette. Yay. So today, the name of the game is Forward Folds. Um, so Forward Folds, I know they can feel maybe like a little bit intimidating, right? Because you're like, ah, I'm really tight in my back body. My hamstrings are tight. Um, my butt is tight. My calves are tight. My ankles are tight. And we're going to go over a lot of different ways that forward folds um, can be worked into your everyday practice, your everyday routine, and ways in which these can act as puzzle pieces for you to do more advanced power moves, like working on your inversions. Anytime we're talking about handstands, pressing any of that type of stuff, it's so important that our hamstrings are super duper open. So you don't have to do any of the inversions and things that I'll probably throw out there today, but just know if you struggle with back body opening, a lot of the stuff we're gonna do in here is gonna help you with that. See you. I'm trying to think of like a playlist that I would like to use and share with you and with the people. I kind of liked our slow flow playlist from, like from what, Friday. yeah, it was like a couple weeks ago. I think that might work really well. Great. There's a lot of horny corn on there, right? No, there's no horny corn on there. There's no deftones? There's no deftones. Okay. Yeah. It's quite pleasant, actually. I think I'm thinking of the deftones playlist. Yeah, I think you are too. <laughs> All right. I'm going to pop this playlist in here and then we're going to get going. Um, does anybody in here have any forward folds that they love? That can even be your downward facing dog. Seated forward fold. Hey, Jamethia. Yes. It's our old buddy from uh, Yoga with Carson. All right, also
Also props that can be super duper useful for this, blocks. I always love having blocks around, especially for forward folds, whether you're more of an advanced folder or even if folds are a struggle for you. These can help you get deeper and can help you feel more comfortable if they are troublesome for you. <laughs> I'm with you, Stephanie. I love all the forward folds too. It's kind of my preferred shape. Like everything we were doing last month, the back bends, that's just, that's just. All right, I think I've just blanked out a little bit there. We're starting in tabletop. We're starting in tabletop, folds. yeah. So here, I want you to just start to warm up your wrists a little bit. So if that's moving forwards and backwards like Kamara is doing, or even drawing like little circles with your wrists. Yeah, I'm with you, Jen. I too love standing forward fold. We're gonna do a lot of standing forward folds in here. Yeah, I could hang out in forward fold for oh 10 my God. minutes. I could do my taxes in standing forward fold. <laughs> <laughs> Now, if you want to do like a little bit more intensive of your wrist warm-ups, feel free to do what Kamara is doing and do your full external rotation. I even like to just lean back and like hang out there. It's probably my favorite. Yeah, especially if we're going to do some inversions today, we should probably also do some forearm good morning. So let's come back to this neutral tabletop. Um, and I want you to lift up the heels of your hands and then bring them back down to the ground. So just go up and down just like that. Lift and lower, lift and lower. As fast or as slow as you want. Um, if it's like super duper intense and you want a little bit um, less weight on your hands, walk your knees further forwards. Great, you've got 20 more seconds of that. Keep working. I know, it's so brutal. Last 10. <laughs> You're like, God damn Already? it. <laughs> Last three. Last two. <laughs> and then one, nice job. Heels of the hands are back down. Let's flip your hands like a pancake. Well, get the tops of the hands onto the mat. You can do one at a time if it's too much to do at the same time. Oh, I see Ashley's here. She, re she retracted her message though, so I don't know what she said. <laughs> I'm late, but I'm here. I love that. We were almost late. Great. Let's bring the hands back down onto the ground. I want you to tuck your toes, take a big breath in, and exhale, take it back into downward facing dog, lift the hips up and back. Pedal out your legs if you need to. We're in our very first forward fold of today. So take your little assessment here, see what feels tight, what feels open, what needs a little extra love and attention. Three more breaths, and then we'll start to do our more dynamic warm-ups. Nice job, you guys. All right, after settling into stillness, here's what we're going to do. I want you to use your next inhale to come forwards into a high plank. And with your exhale, make your way back into downward facing dog any way that you like. You can do what Kamar just did, bend the knees and slide back, or you can just lift the hips back, kind of angling your way back. So I want you to do a total of five rounds of this, okay? Kamar's on round number two right now. Great. Number four. And after this fifth one, I want you to hold in your high plank and lower your way all the way down to your tummy. Walk your hands out to the outside of your mat. Come up onto your fingertips and elevate the palms up and off of the ground. Also, point your elbows up to the sky. We're gonna open up across your chest. 
Yeah, so press into those fingers, lift up your chest if you haven't already, <laughs> and then dip your left shoulder down. Kamar is very broad through the shoulder, so he may even wanna walk his hands even wider just to account for the shoulder broadness, okay? <laughs> Not everybody can be as uh, wide and wingspanny as you. Yeah, all right, take it back through center, breath in, and with your exhale, dip your right shoulder. Now let's make it dynamic and kind of go back and forth. Do me a favor, as you come back to center, give yourself a little lift and then dip the shoulder down and work downwards. There you go. Again, lift up and dip. I'm not moving fast enough for it. No, you're good, baby. Lift and lower. Last time. Now let's hang out in center. Hold this lift if you can. Squeeze your buns. Elevate through the chest. And then make your way back. Hands are going to hug in towards your side body. Let's push you back up into your tabletop position and stretch out through your lat and your shoulder. So I want you to keep the hips where they are. Walk the left hand out a little wider and then slice your right arm towards the upper right hand corner of your mat. I know I'm kind of going off screen a little bit, but the goal here is to again, stay thumb up. You can rest your ear and your shoulder, your ear onto your shoulder. <laughs> to me, that helps, okay? Now think about centering through your hips. I love this stretch for the side body, it feels so good. All right, let's take it back up through center. <laughs> and then same thing to the other side, right? Walk that right hand out a little bit. Slice the left arm. I want you to be in that external rotation. So make sure your thumb is pointing up. Rest the ear onto the shoulder if that felt really good for you. Mm-hmm. Mm Nice job. All right, let's take you back up into tabletop and then through to downward facing dog. So tuck your toes, lift your hips. And let's start to get into some standing forward fold work. So first things first, I want you to lift up your heels and either take a step, tiptoe, take a few steps up to the front and hang out in that hip width distance for a beat. I want you to allow your spine to decompress. I know it's hard to imagine that when you feel like, wow, my, ha my hamstrings are on fire. I actually wanna get out of the shape as quick as I can. If that's you, bring bends into the knees. Make it a somewhat uh, enjoyable experience while you're there. All right, now, once you finish this next breath you're taking here, I want you to roll up to standing. So articulate the spine, backbone by backbone. When you make it to standing, pick the shoulders up into the ears, roll them down your back, and then keep them there. Reach the arms up with an inhale breath. Oh no. Exhale, bring your hands to heart center. One more time, inhale, reach your arms up. And then exhale, fold forward, hinge from your hip line. Great. Now I want you to show me your halfway lift. Walk your hands up onto your shin bones and I want you to lean forward into your toes. Do something for me, engage these lats. So I want you to pull them down your back, great. And also knit those lowest ribs in, perfect. Lengthen out through the back of the neck like you're trying to point the tops of your ears forwards. Fold forwards, plant your hands and step back into a high plank position. If you're rehabbing shoulders or just trying to be mindful of shoulders, you don't have to do chaturangas, but if you want to bring this straight into power work, bend the elbows, upward facing dog, or your cobras, and then back into downward facing dog. Take a three breath reset here. We're gonna move on the third breath back to the front of your space. <laughs> Great. Remember, third breath is your moving breath. We're gonna go to the top of our mat. And this time we're gonna aim for feet together, unless that's just anatomically not preferable for you. 
All right, show me your halfway lift. And with your exhale, forward folds. Now on this forward fold, I want you to think about bringing chin to chest and looking up at your own belly button or pubic bone. Yeah, really curl forwards. Nice. Now let's unfurl that. Bring yourself all the way up into standing, reaching your arms up. And then reset, hands to heart center, samasti tihi. Inhale, reach the arms back up, breath in. Exhale, forward fold, take it down. Great. Show me your halfway lift. Hands can walk up onto shins again, or maybe you just place your peace fingers down onto the ground. Maybe you're feeling really mobile. You're actually able to get hands flat on the ground. Fold back forwards, step back into your high plank, move through your chaturangas. We're going to do jump backs offering on that next round, okay? Urdhva Mukha. Nice job, Kamar. And then take it back into your down dog. Another three breath reset. Third breath is your moving breath. All right, let's move to the front. <laughs> Halfway lift. And again, with your exhale, fold forwards, include the head and neck. So curl the chin in, look up at pubic bone or belly button. Great, let's rise up to standing. I like to lengthen everything out as I come up. And hands to heart center. Nice job, inhale, reach the arms back up and fold forwards. Halfway lift, so again, hands on shin bones, peace fingers, maybe hands flat. If you're working those hands flat, see if you can do Ashtanga style and move them back by your feet. Great. And then we will fold all the way, make your way through your Chaturanga Dandasana, Hot back's available. They're very challenging if you're doing that Ashtanga style halfway lift, yeah? And then back into downward facing, great. One more three breath reset and then we're moving on to new work. Um, this next flow we're going to use might be more accessible with blocks. So if you know you're gonna want them, make sure they're close by. We're still in down dog actually. I thought we were gonna take our third breath to the top, no? No. We, we are not. Sorry to disappoint. All right. From that downward facing dog, I want you to lift up your right leg high, but try to keep it square. So my friends that like to get length and height because of your hips, I'm sorry, pull back from that. I want you to also press through this right foot. So see how Kamar's got that little bend? Let's ask Kamar to lengthen that leg a little more. Yes. All right. Bring the knee in towards your nose. Step through into your low lunge. Now here's where the blocks can be handy, right? I want you to dip your left hip down, open up your chest to the front. Give me an inhale. Uh -huh. And with your exhale, hamstring stretch of your choice. You can lift the back knee and pull back just like Kamara is doing a runner stretch. Or you can lower your knee and do a half split. So whichever your preference is. All right. Let's re-bend back into your front knee, tuck back toes if they aren't, and step forward into forward fold. Halfway lift, lengthen, and exhale back into your fold. Bend into your knees this time, really send them back, and work into your chair position. Sit just a little bit deeper. Mm -hmm. Weight can be in the heels so much that your toes even flare up and off of the ground. Mm -hmm and then fold back forwards. Plant your hands, step your left foot back. Step your right foot back, high to mid plank. Upward facing, and exhale, downward facing. Nice. Reset one breath. And then we're going for the left leg. So lift up your left leg, keep it square and straight, push through that heel. And then let's bring the left knee in towards your chest, step through to your low lunge. Blocks can come in again. You're working for a deep lunge here. 
So think about hip flexor going down towards the earth. Nice, Kamar's opening up his chest to the front. Hamstring stretch of your choice, runners or your um, half splits. Great. Rebend into the front knee. Step your right foot forward, standing fold. Halfway lifts, inhale, and fold. Chair position, bend into your knees, send it back. Weight into the heels. I don't like chairs. I don't like this chair position. Maybe that's why I'm sitting on the ground and not doing it. The cat wants to break in. All right, my loves. Forward fold, take it down. Halfway lift. And chaturangas of your, or sorry, step your right foot back. Then your left foot. Oh, she doesn't want to come in. High to mid plank. I got distracted by the cat. Back down or not? Yes. <laughs> There, you made it. You fit, Pi. Are we doing more hip flexor stretches? Oh, we absolutely are. We're gonna make life just a little bit more, more difficult for you by adding a cat into the mix. All right, let's go right leg up towards the sky again. Bring your knee towards your nose and shift forward into high plank. Hold that, squeeze the knee in towards your chest. Nice, let's lift it back up. Inhale, breath. Exhale, knee to nose, step through into your low lunge. Once more, dip the hips down, open up the chest to the front. And with your exhale, do the hamstring stretch of your choice. Great, rebend into your front knee. This time I want you to step forward, but add in a standing split transition. So press through the right foot, lift up your left leg and then bring it down to the ground. Great. No halfway lift here. Let's go straight into our chair. Bend into the knees. Reach the arms towards your upper hand corner. Stay for your exhale. Let's just sweep the arms back and go into a flying chair. Yeah. Inhale, reach the arms back up. And with your exhale, fold back forwards. Plant your hands. Step your left foot back. You can step the right foot back and attach it to the ground or step and extend it back, keeping it floating for Ekapada Chaturanga or high to mid plank. <clears throat> Upward facing. Nice job. Downward facing. <laughs> yes, I know. You wouldn't want to miss a class, Pi. All right, let's go for your left side. Left leg lifts. Knee towards your nose, shift forward into your high plank, squeeze the knee into the chest. I know. Lift it back up. And then let's go knee towards your nose, step through into low lunge. Dip those hips, open up the front line of your body. And then again, hamstring of your choice. Shift back. Oh my God, she's putting on a show for everybody. All right, rebend into your front knee. Standing split transition to the front. So lift up your right leg. And then return that right foot down. Chair position. Stay, sit a little deeper and reach the arms back behind you. Great, inhale, arms reach back forwards. Fold it forwards and we'll step your right foot back. Now left foot can step or extend so that you go through ekapada or single legged. Upward facing and then downward facing. Now I wanna take another reset here before we go on to another round. You can stay in your downward facing dog you can fortify the shoulders a little more by going into dolphin pose. So if you wanna try your dolphin position, the only difference is that you're going down to your forearms. I would show you, but there's, I can Kamara's gonna demonstrate it, because I have this, this cloud carpet in front of me. Yeah, just like that, baby. I'll move this block so the people can see. Now, the thing you want to go for when you're doing um, 
this dolphin position, I want you to avoid shoving the elbows out to the side. Think about hugging them in. The way I like to do that is to bring my forearms down to the ground, palm up, and then I just flip my hands and it kind of locks my forearm flesh into place. <laughs> All right, so whatever your choice is, whether you're going for your dolphin position or if you're sticking just with down dog or even taking a resting pose, You've got 10 more seconds. See what I have to deal with every day? Mm-hmm. All right. Our next round is gonna be fraught with little challenges. So, if you're ready, I'm ready. I'm gonna move this cat. You've offended her? I have really offended her. Right leg is going to lift up. Nice. Again, knee towards your nose, big squeeze. Nice. Lift your right leg high again. This time, bring it to right tricep. Ugh. Inhale, right leg lifts. Right knee, left tricep. Let's see if you wanna stick that out to the side and do a fallen triangle. Left arm reaches high, rolling to instep of back foot. That's the stuff. Inhale, lift the right leg back high, three-legged. Knee towards your nose, big squeeze step through low lunge. Inhale, feel those hips dip down. With your exhale again, hamstring stretch of your choice. Option three that I wanna give you is a fully folded or like leaned back version of this like I'm doing where you're sitting on your heel. Great. Let's re-bend into your front knee, tuck your left toes, and I want us to go straight from here into your forward fold again, so we're gonna skip the standing split variation. Bend into your knee. Oh, shit. <laughs> you're like, all I heard was standing split. Yeah. So we're back into chair, okay? I want you to feel your weight shift into your right foot, and I want you to lift up your left, just in front of you. Single-legged chair. Great. Try to sit a little bit deeper into that single-legged chair. <laughs> Kamar wants to do a pistol. If you want to do a pistol, then do a damn pistol. I don't want to do shit. Okay, then stay right there. All right, now from here, this is where we're gonna go into our standing split. So I want you to come all the way up to standing and like a pendulum, swing the left leg back and work your way down. Nice. Stick with the blocks, do what you want. Here's what we're going to try to do. I wanna offer up a hopping back um, version of your high to mid plank. So bend into the knees, You'll hop, you'll try to land with your right foot to the back of your mat. Huh. Yeah? Nice. If you're like, I don't wanna do all that, you can just step the left foot back, step the right foot back, and meet us back into downward facing dog. <laughs> yes! Left side, here we go. Left leg lifts, knee to nose, big squeeze. Left leg lifts. Left knee, left tricep. Kamar really tried to stick it into his armpit that first round, didn't he? Ooh, left leg lifts. <laughs> left knee, right tricep. If you did that fallen triangle, do it again. Nice job. Inhale, take it back up into your three-legged. Knee towards your nose. Step through low lunge. Fuck! Hamstring stretch of your choice again. I'm gonna go back into this kneeling fold because it feels so good, for me at least. <sighs> All right, and then we'll take it back and we're gonna step straight into our fold. Chair. Weight shifts into your left foot. Right leg extends forward. Great, try to keep the depth. 
I know, quad murder. Three, two, and press through that left leg to standing. Hinge forward, standing split. Great, now you can step back. You can try the little hop back. Left foot will hop to the back. You'll land with your bent elbows, upward facing, and back into downward facing dog. Three breath reset. I really wish that I was like, great, you did the rounds, but I have one final round of that sequence for you. On this one, I'm gonna offer up all the very challenging parts, okay? Oh no. Including the challenge of teaching them with a cat. Can you go here? Okay. Can you go uh, up there? I'm reset. <laughs> all right, so same thing, starting from your downward facing dog. One of the first things that I'm gonna offer up is a shape called Visvramistrasana, okay? Let me pop it on the second one. So Visvram is a transition that you would take from your fallen triangle, yeah? So knee would come across and you would lengthen. The way to take this into Visvram, I like to bring my knee in towards my chest. I would say this is a great step one. Step two, you try to grab for the foot, kick it out in front of you, or if you're really rocking with it, try to bring it up above your head. So it's more of like a compass variation. Yeah? Pop. Yeah, my hips are like, what? <laughs> Why on earth would we do that? Okay, right side. Yeah. So when I say this from Astrasana, hopefully you're a little less in the dark about that one. <laughs> All right. Wow, Kamar's ready. He's like, let's get through this. Right leg is lifted. Let's go. <laughs> Knee towards your nose, give it a squeeze. Hey, right leg lifts, right knee, right tricep. I know this flow is brutal, you guys are doing great. Right leg lifts, knee to left tricep, kick it out to the side, fall in triangle. All those variations I offered. Lift, hug, grab, kick, or trying to work above the head. Three. Two, and one. Let's bring it back up into three-legged. Knee towards your nose. Step through to your low lunge. <laughs> Hips down, open that chest. Great, hamstring of your choice. Even if you want to drop down into some full splits, I'm not gonna stop you. Do the things that make your body feel good. We'll take an extra couple beats here for it. Um, if you're doing full splits, I'll have a special transition for you. All right, now bring it back into your bend. If you're in full splits with me, I want you to try to pull back with your straight leg, lift it back into your three-legged again, then step through. Great. Now, remember last time we stepped straight into our chair? Not on this one. Straight into your standing split. Nice. Now start to bend into both of your knees, almost like you're creating two right angles. Yeah? And from here, we're gonna go into that single-legged chair. Should you choose to be a masochist today, down into your pistol, all the way back up. Oh, Kamar wants to do more. I just figured we were going back to the chair. <laughs> and then we're gonna go into our standing splits once more. Great. Now, from here, stepping back, hopping back. If you have a handstand practice, a couple hops you wanna take, go for it. We'll all meet back um, in our down dog in about 10 or 15 seconds because I wanna give everybody time to play. Yeah. <laughs> Great. 
And you can even take it from your handstand down through that same high to mid plank we did. All right. We're on side two. I don't even know what time it is. What day is it? Left leg. Knee towards your nose, squeeze. Ah, he tried to run away. Left leg lifts, left knee, left tricep. Whoa. Leg lifts, knee to right tricep. Here we go, kick it out or this wrong transitions, whatever you did. And I'm like, damn it, I have to do this on the other side? <laughs> All right. Bring it back up. Need to nose. Step through low lunge. <sighs> Hips. And then again, hamstring of your choice, even if it was a full split. Same this all. Um, anemone. Who's it by? The Brian Jonestown Massacre. I promise after this flow, everything's gonna settle down a little bit for our last 20 minutes of class. All right, from that hamstring stretch, back forward. If you did the split thing with me. Oh God. Oh. And then we're into our standing split first. So many folds. <laughs> All right, here we go. Two bent knees. Yeah, through, through, through. Yikes. Forwards. If you did la pistolas, uh, my left side feels weak. weak. And then back into your standing splits. Same thing, play time non-play time, whatever you like. I'll give Kamar some space. <coughs> Noise. Book. Bookcase of death. <sighs> <sighs> We're gonna be back in down dog and then we can chill. I gotta do my, I gotta do my bad side. <sighs> <laughs> I was close. I wasn't feeling it on that side. <laughs> All right. Wherever you are, my little resties, we are going to make our way to the front. Let's go into Malasana. Let's do Malasana. Let's give ourselves a little, a little proper break here because next week I wanna do folds, but hip oriented folds. So like, um, yeah, yeah, like TTs and um, um, I think it's called tortoise. It's basically like TT basana, but splat down on the ground. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Now from here, I know normally we're always thinking about malasanas as being very lifted like this but I actually want you to do the opposite. I want you to curl forwards, but try to push the hips, what? Push the hips out. Is there something you'd like to say? Okay, that's what Pi would like to say to all of you. <laughs> You're the reason why we have to vacuum every day. All right, now let's bring ourselves up and we're gonna go into a fold from here, but here's how I want you to do it. I want you to kind of lean forward into your toes like you're gonna lift your heels up. Lengthen the legs, pivot the heels into parallel and fold. Nice job. Let's lengthen through the spine, bring ourselves up to standing. Standing. Oh. 
Oh, stand in. All right, we're gonna turn to the side. We're going to fold laterally now. How you guys doing? If you're yo doing yoga with somebody, give them a little high five. Give them some encouragement. Great. Tell them they're amazing. You're amazing. You're amazing. Go for wide on this one. I don't want you to go your widest like you're trying to do middle splits, but just a nice, healthy wide. We're going to do a couple rounds of wide-legged forward folds with little bits in between. So first one, hands on hips. Nice. I want you to look down at your feet. Make sure that they're parallel or, my personal favorite, just a little bit turned in. Lengthen through the chest, take a breath in. And exhale, fold forwards. Try to keep your hands on your hips and see if you can close the elbows closer together. Now when I'm here and I'm feeling a lot of tension, I like to micro bend my knees and then lengthen them back out. Yeah? That way you're encouraging the fascia, encouraging the nervous system to work with you. Great, let's bring ourselves back up. Think like you're lengthening through halfway lift. Bring it all the way up. Free drugs, hello. <sighs> hands off of your hips. This one's gonna feel a lot more stable because you'll have your hands available. Arms go out to the side. Take a breath in. And exhale, fold back forwards. Place them wherever you want. That can even be on blocks on a cat, on your ankles. If you're starting to think about, I wanna go deep into these forward folds and you're feeling like you've got space for uh, shenanigans, <laughs> then I like to offer reaching the arms between your legs. Mm-hmm. Great, I know this can be very intense to do three rounds of, so we're gonna do a little bit of a break between this one and our last one. All right, now same thing, I want you to bring yourself back up, all the way up, 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 nice. And we're gonna get set up to do pyramid. So, I want you to turn your right set of toes towards your front, this back foot can walk outwards and kind of angle more like at a 30 degree. I don't know, you're my, my rocket man. I'm like, what are degrees even, right? We're gonna try to face forward, hinge from this hip line and work down. This is another opportunity for blocks to be really handy. So if you're like, hey, let me grab these up. Sorry, I'm not stealing yours, my love. Okay. And they can be right by your side like this, yeah? I keep like looking at the screen and not the camera. <laughs> I'm not used to this camera angle yet. I was like hoping this would be helpful, but also we have this giant cat in front of the feet. Oh, that's great. I think so too. <laughs> I can do my pyramids so much better this way. Right now, if you haven't yet, let's see if we can fold a little bit deeper towards that right leg. Take those big breaths. Nice work. Let's bring ourselves back up. And if you know, like, hey, I use blocks on this side, I'm gonna need them on the other, I like to just use my core, move the blocks to center, and bring myself the rest of the way up so that they're ready for me on the other side. Great. Turn, turn. Turn, turn. We go to the left now. So same thing, you may need to walk the feet a little bit differently, make your adjustments, and then hinge from the hip line as you go down. Blocks are there for you. Yay! You set yourself up for success. 
Now, as you arrive into this shape, I know I didn't give like this many cues on the other side, but there's a few things that go through my head to make sure that I'm doing this one as best I can. So I'm trying to always think about pushing my left hip back, pressing into the outside edge of my right foot or whichever foot is in back. That way we're trying to strive for a little more balance and less reliance on like hip openers. All right, now let's fold down into this bad boy if you haven't already. Let's bring ourselves back up. <sighs> I'm, good. I'm gonna move my blocks towards like my front center. All the way back up, reset a little bit, because I know that can be um, pretty intense. All right, let's get into our last wide-legged fold of today. Last 14 minutes of class, you guys are doing great. So now, I'm gonna let this be more of a dealer's choice with suggestions, so chest expansion grip so hands can come behind you and you can work a chest expanded forward fold. If you felt like you were itching for inversions on those other ones, then now is the time to try those. Whether that's headstands, handstands, puppy presses, even forearm, forearm presses from wide those are some of my personal favorites to work here. Favorites. And this is why I like to teach forward folds as such an accompaniment. accompaniment. Mm. Why are words so hard today? To inversions, because in order to get into these inversions, we need to have hips stacking over shoulders as best we can. So when you're in your forward fold and you're able to get the hips right over the shoulders, it makes the work a lot easier. Not like they're easy at all, but makes it more accessible. One, one hand. <laughs> Why would I do that? Because crazy. Because you're crazy, obviously. All right. Uh, let's bring ourselves up again from here. Okay. Yeah. I know it's brutal. <laughs> so we did those pyramids on the other side, right? And I want to give you one final variation to close today. Okay. I've heard it called uh, like three legged or like tripod um, pyramid because essentially what you're doing is you're leaning back into this shape and picking up your back leg. What it requires of you to be able to do is really curl, working your weight forwards, pushing into the ground with the arms and external rotation in order to do that. So here's what it looks like. I'm gonna get you guys queued up into it, yeah? So from this position with zero block assistance, again, External rotation on the hands or on the arms, technically, and you're up on spider fingertips. Remember these from earlier? I know I'm kind of close to my little border here, but fingertips are going to point back. Now, I want to push into my arms, curl chin towards my chest, and just practice lifting up my left heel. Yeah, leaning back. Maybe I feel nice and strong, and I kick my heel in towards my butt. You can do it with your blocks. I like setting them up long. Again, same thing, external rotation, push. 
a lot easier because it's bringing the ground to you, yeah? Now, if you're not into all that, you're not feeling it, don't do it. You just go for another round of pyramids or if you're just like, I'm liking the period, but I kind of want to do more splitty stuff, then throw in another full split. It's all good. We're going to do this. <laughs> <laughs> what happened? I don't get it. I don't get it. My body's like, what? I would close the distance between your legs. That's going to help. Yes. No. And then remember the contraction. It's almost like you're doing a pike. Because I'm like, you got the, the arms for this. There you go. Yep. I don't know if I have the like, I don't know, man. Maybe you're dragging lots of wagon back there. Dragging lots of something. I've tried this before. I've never understood how to make it make sense in my body. Mm. Like, there you go. I'm like standing straight up though. You're not. You got a little bit of a lean back. Roll. Roll it back. All right, you gotta do the other side. All right, I do. If you haven't done the other side yet, do the other side. So again, you're in your pyramid, push, I like to start with the bent knee, push, contract, protract. Like when I do it, like my fucking ribs are like, <gasps> like everything in my front body is squeezed. Yeah, and I like to say if this is giving you trouble, don't think about leaning back as hard. Even if you feel like you're just doing kind of like a single legged split, like Start from there and then lean back a little bit. I feel like I'm standing straight up. Though. You're not. Like I'm looking at you and you're doing it. Right? Okay. It's kind of nice that there's some delay on there, right? Okay. I'll take it. <laughs> All right, guys. How are we closing? Let's take you down to the ground and here's how I would like you to try to get down to the ground, okay? I know we're kind of all over the place. But from this wide-legged position, hands, external rotation, walk back, bend into your knees, sit yourself down. I know if you're still here, Jen, you're getting flashbacks from our private on Saturday, huh? Respectfully. You're not doing that? <laughs> All right, well, since we're not doing that, Here's what we will do. From that straddle position, let's just grab your back leg, bring it forwards. <laughs> I want you to walk out your butt cheeks a little bit so you feel like you're really grounded through the sit bones. Yeah. Bend into your knees, sit up as tall as you can. Like, huh. mm. yeah. So you're basically in your staff pose or dandasana, right? And then I want you to move forwards from there. Try to maintain that flat spine for as long as you can. Maybe those heels slide a little bit away from you. Again, a little bit further. And when you can no longer hold that nice flat spine, even if it's just a few inches from your originating position, take one more breath. <laughs> and then fold forwards, let the upper spine round. Hi, Pi. <laughs> Great, remember when I was talking about the way blocks can help everybody? If seated forward folds are the bane of your existence and you feel like you're rolled back, take a block, sit on that shit, and working the same exercises. Because think about it, your butt is gonna be higher than your heels, so it's giving you this slight advantage, yeah? If you're on the other side of the spectrum and you're not feeling challenged by these types of shapes, I like to bring blocks to the bottoms of my feet and change the dimension of the block, right? 
because eventually what I want us to try to work up to throughout this month is, you guys don't have to get up and do this right now, but I want us to try to challenge ourselves to work from standing folds and hand connectivity to the ground, right? I might be able to do another set. So this is what's in our immediate futures. I'm like, oh. And then you'll just do it on the long side. I know. I'm like, we need the little half blocks. All right, now let's bring you up from here. I want you to point your toes, contract your tummy, and let's roll you all the way down onto your back. Great. And then we're gonna counter all those forward folds um, with a bridge. So I want you to bend your knees, feet on the ground, lift up your hips. Nice. And I'm gonna let you freestyle within this bridge a little bit. So Kamara's going for a chest expansion. I love that. If you feel so inclined to do something like wheels, you can do that. I just always like to see Kamar do wheel because his upper spine is so glorious. <sighs> He's got that, I can sit on my own head kind of back. Yeah. All right. And then we'll settle ourselves into any final shape that you like for our last two, three minutes or so. <laughs> know that your blocks can also get used in these final Shavasana shapes, um, like bringing yourself into um, like a supported bridge or a supported heart opener. I'm trying to give you a good Shavasana song love for the last two minutes. <laughs> Let your breath find a natural pattern. Shimming your shoulders underneath you maybe a little bit deeper. I'll have you take five more breaths here. <laughs> and then start rocking your head side to side. Stretch yourself out. <sighs> and choose your own adventure. How do you like to get up? It is an 
honor to teach you. Everybody, thank you so much for coming to class. I know for some of us, it is a holiday for a lot. Uh, they still have to work, so if you run into anybody that's working today, give them some extra gratitude, extra thanks. And thank you for coming to class. Thank you, Kamar, for taking class, getting us back here on time. Oh, man. We just made it. We just made it. Not a minute to spare. <laughs> You guys did great. I'm going to turn the chat back on. Chat box, party on. Excellent. Pie. You're on candid camera. Let's give him a show. Oh. This is this is uh, your daily dose of of baby. <laughs> yes, yeah, Stephanie, it's Virgo month. Oh, thanks, Jen. I love that. <laughs> thanks, Jessica. Thanks, Miriam. Also, I hope this um, camera situation was helpful. Um, I like having the big wide angle, but I know my squirrel brain sometimes does well with like having one more angle to look at, so. Oh, Liliana, yes. Time and consistency with all things. I know it sucks and I just want a fast track to being better at things, but that's literally all it is. <laughs> 110. Ooh. Oh God, Jessica. I'm Where? like, I'm like, she must be in, are you in Los Angeles? Cause my family's been texting me and they're like, we're all dying. Yeah, and if you're on West Coast, it's only 10.30, but I'm sure it's already hot. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Fresno. Fresno. Man. Dude, the Central Valley is always like murder at this time, I but feel like. The cool thing about Fresno, if you have time, you just go into the mountains. It's so true. An hour east, two hours, boom. Yeah. 60 degrees. Unless it's on fire, like that time we went. <laughs> and he said, today, no pistolas. <laughs> Sin pistolas. <laughs> oh, yeah, Irvine, no. Pismo, yeah, man. We love Central California. Yeah. Probably one of our favorite, um, like, adventure things we did. It was right when we got the rooftop tent. We got the awning and we went up and like just in and out of, Zigzagging. yep, out of the Sierras. Yeah. Loved it so much. We even added a day. Yeah, we did. Yeah, we just stayed great. up there. It's great. That was amazing. Except the lake was so dried out, but I mean, that's no, kind of that normal cool. now. Yeah. It was rad. Like where our campsite was, I don't know the campsite name. I could probably Bear ask Mello. Bear River Creek. Bear River Bear Creek. River, Bear River Lake. Bear River Lake. Yeah, I remember it was something weird like that. We're like, River Lake, okay. Yeah, well, hopefully you guys stay cool. Make sure you're hydrating and like staying out because the heat is no joke. Yeah. Yeah. I'm like, it's hot here too, but we're not in the uh, dry. Well, also we're like. Triple digits. We're already, you know, up for it. We've been dealing with the heat since late May. Yeah, that's true. And we just avoid it pretty much. Yeah. But we're gonna, we're gonna go get lunch now. Yeah, it's lunchtime. Yeah. Yoga helps, winky Yoga face. Yoga helps. It does, yeah. What? Come here. <laughs> 
<laughs> and that was Pi's daily sermon. Thanks for coming. <laughs> um, quick mention, class schedules this week. We will have our Thursday beginners class. Um, no class on Friday or over the weekend, but I'm working on putting together more short classes because I got such great feedback. Like the last one I did, I did the quick Pilates abs. I'm going to make another one like that, quick Pilates butt, because I know you guys like punishing your asses. And also a um, desk routine. So I'm gonna be working on these things and releasing them throughout the month, especially when I'm gone teaching my retreat in Joshua Tree at the end of the month. So keep an eye out for those. And if you have suggestions of things you wanna see on my YouTube channel, hit me up, let me know, stick it in the chat, message it to me, Instagram it to me. I'm here for it. Oh, nice, you're gonna get rain next week. Thank the gods and goddesses for that. Yeah, just please, please give me something. All right. All right, you guys. All right. Uh, I just love you, Jessica. I can't, I can't help myself, okay? All right, loves, I will see you, if not on Thursday, next week. Have a beautiful rest of your week. Stay cool, and I'll see you guys next time. <laughs> Kamar with the snaps. Kamar with the snaps. <laughs>